Hello, YouTube world. It is I, Double Decker Danwich, here with episode two of Spore, but my laptop is crud. Now, in the previous episode, I was watching it through and realized at the beginning when I was talking about a omnivore mouth that I was trying to unlock, I kept saying herbivore, which was my mistake. But anyway, let's get into this episode where we will be starting off the creature stage on our path to sentience. Now we get to see how we went through this cell stage of ours. Made it through the only two deaths. I see that as an absolute win. All right. So now, let's see. Cheese stick, I believe it was. It's time to evolve. So, let's take that away, that away, that away, that away, and we'll keep the mouth. Now, I feel like in evolution, we can get a little longer. standing upright to keep our sort of cheese stick built. Alright, now what we need, we need eyes. We're going to keep our single eye. That's looking mighty fine. And you can see we have our aggressive and our passive stuff. Right now we have bite and we have sing. I say I think I need at least one more aggressive of each kind. So let's give ourselves a good old unicorn horn. Maybe make our eye a little smaller. There, now we just kind of look like a board. All right. Now we can give ourselves. Ooh, wait, no, that's an aggressive thing. We want. Something else. So let's put these on our knees. Those will be our kneecaps. We yeah, can even make them very small. So no one has to see them. They're just little bumps on our knees that allow us to charm. Alright. Let's take cheese stick out of the water. Let's see what we can encounter here. Now the creature stage. Little different from our cell stage. In the cell stage, we actually needed to eat. Like, I mean, in the cell stage, we, I mean, yes, we need to eat to progress, but now in the creature stage, we need to eat because we get hungry, which is part of the reason that I took the omnivore track, because it makes it so much easier to find food when there's more food available. It is the beginning of a new day. And for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world, air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs, into your new home, dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Let's see, I'm a creature now. So I got my little progress bar like before, and now I'm an omnivore, so I have to, I have my quests up here, so I have to eat fruit or meat, and find a new part and get ready to evolve. Well, there looks like some sort of carcass over there, as well as some fruit. So, but first I'm going to gather up some parts. And just like that, what's this? You've discovered a new part. Imagine the cool stuff you'll find. 
on even bigger creatures or skeletons. I have obtained a new set of legs. Alright. Now I just need to eat something. And find new parts. As well as meet another species. Before I meet the species, I'm going to take their stuff. Alright. Let's talk to Chokin G. Who's this? You've met a new species. Care to make them a friend or foe? Set your stance and get ready to sing or snarl at your new found neighbor. Alright. And this is where I pick my stance. Well, let's see. This species is worse than me. Yep, by the indicators, it seems that it's worse than me at being friendly. So, to overpower them, I need to find their alpha. And I'm going to take a positive stance. Now, talking to the alpha and competing with the alpha in this sense makes it so I gain new parts. With that, I have collected another leg. Alright. And right here it says if I want to ally them, I need to impress impress two chicken G. So that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna impress them all. And there's number two. And the last one, I assume there's no alphas around here. And just like that, we impressed them. And you see our little progress bar goes up? That's because we made an ally. Now my guy's a little hungry. And once again, we are going to try to stay in the omnivore. Well, it's not so much omnivore, it's the blue. We're going to try to stay in the blue, which means we're going to be adaptable. We're going to be trying to not only be social, but also be aggressive. Alright, now I think it's time for us to, before we go and meet another creature, I'm going to enter the creature stage because I want arms. And also there is stuff that doesn't look like it was from the cell stage. Alright, now it's time for a little bit of dancing. We're about to lay ourselves a brand new egg. Alright. Hmm, that's a nice neutral... Oh! Another life had just started. Alright. Now, we have access to arms as well. They cost 50. But they allow us to grab things now. Let's see. We have graspers. I think these are called. Yep. And our current hands, I don't think, really give us a whole lot. But on top of that, I can now get rid of these, this, and this, because we are about to adopt some new stuff. First, we have to replace our mouth because it's required for us to have some form of way to eat. So, we will go with hmm, the two can't mouth, making us more like a bird. Alright, we're still in our sort of cheese stick form. Let's see, do we want new grip? Because as you can see, we removed the spike as well as the thing that was giving us charm. But we can easily re-add some actual 
ones of those that will give us more stuff. And I think having, I think having strike level two might just be a little better. Let's see, how big do we want to make this? If we make it maximum size, well that's just plain ridiculous. I don't think we need to be that big. There we go. It's like a little hair. But now our strike is at level two. Now something else we can get is charm level two. Before we only had charm level one. With this, we get charm level two. And once again, we're gonna have them be our kneecaps. See if we can get them to just hide inside our legs so nobody has to see them. Perfect. And we still have 27 more. Let's see. We could unlock some strike and some pose stuff. And it looks like these ones give us... This would give us pose level 2. But we want to stay relatively even across the board. So let's go with one of these two. I think the ones that would look probably the least creepy out of the two would be these ones. Alright, those are like some bear mitts, or some sort of bear, bird, cheese looking, yeah. Now all these feet also cost 25. So if we sell our previous feet, which only cost 20. We can then grab some more stuff for us. Let's see. I'm guessing we are wanting to get each thing unlocked, so let's go Suctopod. So now we're some sort of... Suctopod? Suctoped. So we're like an octopus, bear, bird, cheese stick with a little horn. We can even, ooh, I was trying to make us taller, and I just made us more lean forward. Let me see if I can, oh, uh, oh, 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 I love him. He's perfect. He's perfect in every single way. Okay, well, that... That is something. Hang on, let me just... Oh, gosh. Now this is what Nightmares is made out of. We're going with it. Oh, gosh, the baby's worse. Okay. I gotta learn how to charm. So I got all these new abilities now. And there we go, learning how to pose. Oh, now I gotta learn my aggressive stuff. Just strike. Charge. Dance. Oh, look at that dance. Now, the reason I waited to go and, like, gather more stuff or to go socialize with more people is because I still had stuff from the cell stage. Which, oh, that. Oh, my. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? But, yes, I still had stuff from the cell stage, which means I wasn't able to unlock anything new. So, except for, like, arms and legs, because that... Or just legs, because that's the only thing that wasn't from the cell stage that I had. The Alpha Scorpo. These guys also are good in combat, but I think I'm slightly better. However, I'm going to, once again, make them my allies. Only because... It's just easier for right now, especially 
if you guys watched the first episode, you guys know that the reason that this video is called But My Laptop is Crud is if I was to die while in this stage, there's a good chance my game will crash and I will lose all my progress. Which reminds me, I am going to quickly save the game. Just so that doesn't happen. <laughs> Alright. We made friends with another. Just need to make friends with one more. And then these guys will become our allies. Oh. And it appears we achieved bigger brain status. Alright. Now, my original intent, intent was to just end the video after every time my brain leveled up. However, this video seemed shorter than the last one, so I'm going to go for a little longer. Let's see. Brain power. You've grown a little smarter and taken your first step towards sentience. You have earned the ability to entice an ally to join your pack and help you on your adventure. Ooh, now I can build a pack. Well, who better to be part of my pack than my new friends? That's a lie. These guys don't have all the abilities I have, so I'm gonna go home and see if I can't find a cheese stick to be friends to be my to be on my ally. Alright. And the whole point of gaining an ally is so that way we can be stronger when attempting to either entice or attack. So now with our first no Hello friend! You've added a creature to your pack. Hunting, singing, or dancing around the meadow. You lead, they will follow. Alright, we have one more species that's relatively close to us. Let's go see if we can't test out our new found strength. These guys only have a one in combat, so I'm going to back up a little bit so I can activate my charge ability. And we are going to go to absolute town on these guys. Oh, there's the last one. And just like that, we hunted one of them. So now, we can use their place as a place to heal. All right, we didn't bother to check to see if they had any skelly bones lying around. All right. Ooh, these guys look like fun. They have a high attack. So I'm thinking that I want to make them my friend, actually. I was thinking about attacking them, but these guys look relatively strong and something I don't want to mess with. And also, we can probably handle them a lot better with our double singing ability. And we just unlocked a new map. Alright, time to intense enhance entice this alpha fur poop. Remember the alphas, if we kill them or entice them, we gain new body parts. Which can only help us. Now I'm not seeing any more alphas, so we're gonna go to town on this little guy here. Uh, 
All right, let's dig this up. These guys are now our allies. We've earned a lot of stuff so far. So I think we are going to stop at one more camp or nest in the creature stage. Ooh, are these guys still in their eggs? Robert. So these guys appear to not be out of their egg sacs yet. So I think I saw one camp that was closer to our home base. So I'm going to go there. Grab a quick snack while we're going around. Listen, I got places to be. I got no time for making a new child. This man's got places to be. Alright. Ooh. Upgraded strike. Now, what do we have here? We have Alpha Squawky. They are very good when it comes to. They got a four in that. So, the only logical choice would be to attack them. Oh, these guys can jump. But they aren't very good when it comes to combat. Granted, this would they would have made great allies because it isn't just it isn't just my group of people that I can make into part of my pack. I can make realistically any. Any creature. These guys are going to be annoying, though. Alright. And just like that, we took out another civilization. My guys are rather hungry, so we're going to go ahead and go to eat. There are now destroyed enemies. Full. Let's grab this. Some new graspers, nothing too big. Let's take a look over here at this skeleton over here. And a new mouth. Alright, let's make our way back to our home nest. And I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So, before I end it off, I gotta remember to save, otherwise I'm gonna lose all that progress. Now, this has been Spore, but my computer, my laptop, is crud. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.